Are you sick and tired of random media outlets and talking heads who have never worked in tech saying that AI is going to replace programmers? And oh my god, all the jobs are going to disappear? So were we. So we decided to create a survey and ask real programmers of all ages and all different company sizes their thoughts on these new AI tools. Clearly we struck a nerve because over 3,000 programmers completed the survey which as far as we know is the biggest survey to date on AI and coding. And today, I'm going to share with you some of the most interesting results from our inaugural State of AI survey. And just so we can put this whole thing to rest, the good news for you programmers out there is that only 13.4% of developers think ChatGPT or other AI tools will replace them in their job within the next five years. Could more than 85% of people be wrong? It's possible, but many respondents have 10 years plus of experience and have seen lots of fads come and go. And if they're not worried, you probably shouldn't be either. But then again, Musk and Zuckerberg are looking to fight in a cage and you can't tell me you saw that coming, so who the hell knows. But the honest truth is that most people simply believe the developer role will evolve to incorporate the usage of these AI tools just like any other tool in the past. So the next time you're debating someone in a Discord channel or Reddit thread, or maybe your mom if she's been watching the news too much, feel free to send them this report and give them some hard numbers on how AI is actually affecting the programming landscape. But believe it or not, there were more interesting results like 74.9% of developers are using ChatGPT at least once a week and almost 11% of job applications listed experience with ChatGPT or AI tools as a requirement. Want more cool stats and takeaways? Click the link in the right hand corner or in the description below. Or if you don't love to read and would much rather listen to my smooth silky voice, then let's strap in and check it out together. Let's go! Before anything else, we have to go over the methodology of this survey and explain the intentions of creating this first ever survey in the first place. And it all started with curiosity. We were curious to see which AI tools programmers are using, how they're using them, and what they think about the future of these tools. Instead of looking at all possible AI tools, we focused on tools that help with a big part of a programmer's day-to-day -day task. Why this focus? Because we already have AI tools that are good at doing one or two things, but now there are new tools that could even write code for us as well if we learn to use them correctly, and in my opinion, those are the high value ones. We also wanted to see if there were patterns based on things like how much schooling someone had, the size of their company, their salary, their job role, and other factors. For example, we wondered if certain countries or types of jobs were quicker to use these tools than others. With all this in mind, we made a survey of 25 questions, and we were blown away by the fact that 3,240 people filled this whole thing out. Now, 3,000 might not seem like a lot, but it's huge when you compare it to McKinsey's State of AI survey, which had about 1,492 respondents, and a recent AI survey by GitHub, which was based on only 500 developers. And every developer knows GitHub. So we were pretty damn blown away that six times more people filled out this survey. Not to humble brag, but I'm just telling you this so you know that these insights are based on a really solid sample size. And let's be honest, no one loves filling out surveys. So the fact that we got over 3,000 respondents is crazy. So now that we know the sample size is legit, let's talk about the demographics of this survey. Out of 3,240 responses, we noticed that a majority of respondents were either full stack developers at 32.5% percent front-end developers at 22.5%, or back-end developers at 8.9%. Now, there were over 20 different roles that filled this thing out, but those that I mentioned were the most prominent. In terms of experience, we had a healthy mix of new and seasoned programmers, with about 57% having less than 3 years of experience, and 43% with over 3 years of experience. The participants were globally spread, with most from the US, Europe, India, and Asia. When it comes to age, over 60% of respondents fell under the 18 to 35 year age gap but we were particularly impressed by the 2.2% of participants who were over 60 years old, showing us that it's never too late to learn to code. Now, there are many more categories that we covered under demographics like company size, education, and salaries, but I can't cover everything in one video because it would take forever. So if you're interested, make sure to check out the full survey results, linked in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Now let's talk usage. How are programmers actually using these AI tools? We were pretty impressed that 84.4% of respondents have at least tried AI tools already. Among the 15.6% of people who have not used any AI tool at all, 18.2% of them have no plans of using it 
while 51.4% plan to use it in the next six months. I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you, but what this really means is that by the end of 2023, over 97% of programmers will be using or have at least tried to use AI tools, which is absolutely nuts. I mean, I know there was a lot of hype, but developers seem to be super early adopters. Now, I don't know about you, but I was pretty curious about why some programmers don't even want to try to use AI tools and what's holding them back. And believe it or not, the most popular answer is because of the learning curve. This makes sense, but I think the learning curve for understanding data structures and algorithms is much steeper, and most of us have already done that, so why not give this groundbreaking technology a shot? I don't know, maybe it's just me, let me know your opinions down below. Nothing too exciting here, but ChatGPT is still the king of AI tools, at least for now. It is by far the most widely used AI tool among programmers, with 75% of programmers using some version of it on a weekly basis. Rounding out the top 3 most used AI tools by developers so far are Visual Studio IntelliCode, which is being used daily by 17.5% of programmers, and GitHub Copilot at 11.2% daily usage. Now one area that I was personally very interested in from the start was geographical differences in the adoption of AI tools, particularly ChatGPT. This was definitely not what I would have guessed, but the United States came in dead last, with only 27.3% of US-based programmers using it daily. The top spot? Drumroll please. Africa. 48.6% of African-based programmers are using ChatGPT every day. One not-so-surprising discovery was that the younger you are, the more likely you are using AI tools for coding. Programmers aged 18 to 25 are the most prolific users of AI tools for coding, with 46.3% using ChatGPT daily and an additional 29% on a weekly basis. The usage of AI tools decreases with age as you can see from the data. Now let's shift to how work experience affects daily usage. To start, let's talk about individuals with 3-5 to five years of work experience. These programmers use ChatGPT the most frequently for work with 43.8% using it daily. Next we have programmers with 1-2 to two years of experience and 35.1% of them use ChatGPT daily for work. For those with 0-1 to one years of experience, the daily usage is slightly lower at 33.8%. The usage then drops drastically for programmers with 5-10 to ten years of experience with 23.8%. 0.3% of them using it daily. And lastly, programmers with more than 10 years of experience had the lowest usage, but still significant at 19.9% daily usage. Another very interesting finding was the correlation between salary levels and the usage of AI tools, specifically ChatGPT. Programmers in the lowest salary range have the highest adoption rate of these AI tools. As the salary range increases, the adoption rate of these AI tools decreases, which I personally was not expecting. If anything, I thought it was going to be like a rich get richer scenario, but I was completely wrong. Now let's move on to AI tools in the workplace. Over 30% of employers are now expecting their programmers to learn or use AI tools. This trend is anticipated to grow each year due to its expansive and practical benefits these tools can offer in the tech industry, especially as they continue to improve and deal with their shortcomings that I've mentioned in other videos, the most common one being the accuracy issues and hallucinations. In the past year alone, 10.7% of programmers applying for new jobs noticed that having experience with AI tools, specifically ChatGPT, was a job requirement. And in my opinion, this just proves that AI is here to stay, and I personally expect this percentage to keep rising year after year. One of my favorite components of this survey is the amount of responses we got from managers. In fact, 21.6% or nearly 700 respondents were team managers, which gives us an insider look on how company leaders are viewing these AI tools. This brings me to our next section, Management Insights. And one of the biggest takeaways from this section is that 45.6% of team leads had concerns about their members using AI tools, predominantly due to the time it would take for team members to learn these tools, potential errors in tool outputs, and whether members would invest time in validating the outputs from these AI tools. These are all fair concerns, and probably the reason why there isn't a huge push to learn these technologies right now. Nevertheless, still 27.9% of team leads are either requiring or encouraging their members to use AI tools. 
This seems kind of low, but makes complete sense after hearing their reasons for being concerned. Another big finding was that managers at very large companies with more than a thousand employees to be exact are the most supportive of their workers learning to use AI tools. This could be directly attributed to the efficiency gains and productivity improvements that AI tools can deliver, which would significantly impact large teams. But you could debate that it's also a surprise given that massive companies typically don't like to take as many risks as smaller companies, so seeing them as the biggest early adopters breaks this stereotype a bit. Lastly, let's see how developers actually feel about these tools. What are their opinions of them, both individual contributors as well as team leader perspectives? We asked programmers to rate the current usefulness of AI tools on a scale of 1 to 10, and the final rating came out to 7.4. I'd say that's a pretty solid rating given how new these tools are and how much room for improvement there still is. It seems like programmers generally have a positive perception of AI tools as a whole, so much so that 80.1% predict that these tools will become a standard job requirement. And it's not just the newbie programmers. 78.6% of programmers with 10 plus years of experience believe the same thing. Now you could be thinking that it doesn't really mean anything until the bosses say so, right? Well, 82.3% of team leads also predict these tools will become a standard job requirement. Now, that's great and all, but what really matters is how these tools impact code quality, no? Interestingly enough, a large proportion of programmers, 77.8 to be exact, and team leads at 79% anticipate that AI tools will positively impact code quality. They envision these tools aiding in code testing, bug spotting, suggesting fixes, and even generating documentation. Pretty much all areas that often get complicated compromise due to time constraints. P.S. Our team of instructors is working on a few different courses right now dedicated to teaching you how to use AI tools to help you with these exact topics. Make sure to subscribe to the channel or join our email list over at zerotomastery.io to find out when these new courses are dropping. Now, I'm sure all of you can agree with me that automation is the biggest fear in AI at the moment. I mean, it's pretty clear. Well, I'm happy to say that despite the looming automation threat, only a fraction of new developers fear job loss due to AI tools with the majority at 76.9% expressing confidence in their roles. The consensus is that jobs will evolve to incorporate AI tools rather than being replaced by them, and programmers being lifelong learners are well positioned to adapt to this change better than anyone else. And there you have it, folks. We've been on quite a journey today exploring the rapidly evolving world of AI. It's clear that AI is more than a buzzword. It's transforming industries, changing the way we work, and becoming an integral part of our everyday lives. Whether you like it or not, you have to admit that it's a pretty exciting time to be in tech. On behalf of the whole team, thank you to everyone who filled out the survey, and I'm definitely looking forward to breaking this down again in next year's version. Once again, if you would like to see the full survey results, you can click on the link in the top right hand corner and in the description down below. Lastly, if you found this video helpful, we would love if you'd hit that like button to show your support. We'd also love to hear your thoughts. What do you think may change by next year's survey? Did anything surprise you? Would you be interested in us open sourcing the data so you can do your own analysis? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and whether you want us to open source that data. Until next time my friends, and never stop learning.